Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Objective Reviewers portion of the show and I'm Joe Mauricio. This afternoon, two wonderful ladies from the CSI, the Chicago Sculptor Institute. Inter International. It's international. Okay. <laughs> and on my left is no other than Big Victoria, yeah, oh, Victoria, Victoria Fuller. Fuller, and I'm Jill and King. Jill King <laughs> CSI. And then we're going to be talking about CSI. So, uh, <laughs> wait, uh, you started, at what age did you start uh, sculpting? Oh. <laughs> and when did you find out that you are a good artist? Oh, well, I remember when I was maybe six or seven years old, I, um, decorated an Easter egg by adding um, legs and feet to it and I made a frog. And so um, I won a contest. I won an Easter egg contest. And that's when I realized that I might be good at this. Oh. And the same question goes to you. Uh, well, when I was very young, I was always digging in the mud in my backyard, in my suburban backyard. Mm -hmm. And I just loved building up the mud and, and creating something <laughs> out of nothing. And eventually I just kept doing it. I would pick up scraps of garbage off the streets and a piece of metal would become a body. And it just evolved and I never stopped. I'm like a kid in the sandbox who never left the sandbox. Wow. So what a story. But you are you guys are now with the CSI, the Chicago Sculpture International. International. Yes. But being being a member, but you're also women sculpture. What separates you from the guys? Well, we're very similar in that we have a passion for creating something in three dimensions. Um, I oh, yeah, I, I'd like, I'd, that's my <laughs> next question. What's different is, um, you know, it's been a male-dominated occupation. There are fabulous female sculptors like Lee Bontague uh -huh. or Eva Hess, and they've been a big inspiration to me personally. Um, but, you know, it's taken a lot of years for women to get out there and be taken seriously as sculptors because it was really a male occupation for many, many years. Are they taking you guys seriously now? Or? Yes, because we take ourselves seriously. We have a real passion for what we do. Can you talk about the three-dimensional sculpture? Yes. Um, you know, when you work in three dimensions, you're actually building something out of lots of different materials and manipulating materials. And we take for granted how much sculpture is out there in the universe. When you walk wow. down the street, there's, there's sculpture. You could walk into a corporate building and there's something yes. beautiful hanging from the ceiling. And look at Cloudgate. Do you want to talk about Cloudgate a yes, little bit? Yes, yes. Well, um, Cloudgate is what we call in Chicago, uh, affectionately, the bean. And uh, so, I mean, without Cloudgate, um, Millennium Park wouldn't be that interesting. So it actually makes the space. It transforms the space and it creates interest. And people come there specifically to see Cloudgate. So that's the effect that sculpture has on, on the public. You know, what, what inspired you to create three dimensions? Well, like I said, as a child, I was always like picking up garbage off the streets and reassembling them. I even took my dolls apart and put them back together with band-aids, which makes me sound like a lunatic, but basically I just wanted to see what it would look like in a different configuration. And I really feel that, you know, working by building something that's concrete, it feels solid, it feels grounded. And that's why I love sculpture. Oh my God. Being a member of the CSI, uh, what benefits do you guys get from this uh, uh, well, organization? Yeah, I've been in uh, many shows that they have um, you know, gotten, gotten for their members to exhibit in. And uh, I'm in a show right now at Grounds for Sculpture, which is out in uh, Hamilton, New Jersey. And so it gives us many opportunities to exhibit our work, um, plus there's um, education like this lecture that we're doing is, is part of the CSI program. And so it, it benefits uh, members in that there's also uh, resources for members uh, if you need help with uh, finding out where to get materials or how to make something. Uh, you can go to CSI to get help. Okay, uh, 
the presentation at uh, when is that thing going to be at the cultural center? When, when, and uh, well, if they views, if they views Saturday, January twenty third, uh -huh. we have two speakers in January, two speakers in February, Victoria being one of them, two in March and two April and two in May. So we actually have speakers each month, one Saturday a month. Okay, do you have any future projects that you guys are involved with? In <laughs> Chicago, <anyway>. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just working on a series of uh, nature-based artwork. Um, I want to do uh, an installation of uh, sea turtle hatchlings. Uh, and um, so that's one of my projects coming up. And I currently live in Evanston, Illinois. And I oh, would that's that's what you need the passport to get there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I was just asked by the Civic Center of the city of Evanston to create a large hanging suspended sculpture Whoa. for their stairwell in right. the Civic Center. So I, nice. I am beginning by creating a model for that right now. Do you, do you, <laughs> do you make these sketches in a large scale or? Um, well, I, I start small scale first, and I usually make a maquette, like a little small model of, of whatever sculpture I'm going to do. And um, I have blown up sketches, like for for Global Gardens shovel, I made a really giant one on a giant piece of paper, so that I could get the scale of each plant that I was going to do. Well, let me ask you this: uh, <clears throat> being a sculptor, you got to have your idol. Your, you, you, who do you think your idol sculptor? Who is yours? Oh, Constantine Brancusi is one of them. Uh -huh. uh, Marcel Duchamp is another one. Uh, and um, Roy Lichtenstein is another one. Uh, or Klaus Oldenburg. Klaus Oldenburg. They're all uh, Americans. Uh, no, uh, Oldenburg, isn't he German? German? Swedish? He's Swedish, I think. I think so. Yeah. Uh, Brancusi is, is he Italian? I don't know. We should know these things, but we don't. <laughs> How about you? What the, who's um, your I really love Lee Montague. She's an American sculptor who creates these suspended cosmic pieces, very similar to mine. And I also really love this new, more contemporary sculptor. Her name is P Pita Coyne. And she makes these hanging, giant, poetic wax. Yes, yeah. They're amazing. Yes. Maybe. So are you guys making money on uh, on your uh, creation? Well, sometimes, sometimes yes, sometimes, sometimes no. <laughs> and when you become a sculptor, you don't do it for the money. You do it for the love of creating and for the passion you have to bring beauty to the world or talk about something that's of interest to you in the world. And it's really a sharing. I, I commend all mm -hmm. artists who stick with it because it's a sharing experience. It, it's not an easy living, but it's a way to live life fully. Great. Uh, you know, when you talk about galaxy now, I'm, I, I like to talk about black holes and things like that. How are you going to create something like a black hole? <laughs> That's a great question because that was really my inspiration was trying to create something that's not tangible, that you can't touch, but we can see images from the Hubble Space Telescope. Uh -huh. And, um, but you can't touch it. So I actually wanted to create something tangible from something very intangible. Wow. And it, anything? A black hole? I, I think I would make a big black hole in the middle of, <laughs> of you know, s some circular forms, you know. That, and maybe have these things getting sucked into the black. Well, because of the, <laughs> because of Star Wars, I, I, I was just thinking that. Uh, well, you just inspired just, me. Now I want to do a black hole. I want to have like <laughs> houses and people and cars and getting sucked into Good that black you. hole. Everything's getting swept up. <laughs> okay, my uh, my boss is signaling. And uh, any any last word for you guys? The, the presentation the on mm -hmm. cultural center. The presentation is called Women Sculptors of Chicago, Not for Men Only. Uh, it debuts January 23rd at 1 p.m. at the Chicago Cultural Center, and there's one every month till May. So come out and see us. <laughs> okay, and how about you? Uh, well, my lecture is on February 27th, which is also a Saturday uh, coming up. So 
coming to see me talk All right. about my artwork. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for you. Your sharing your Sunday with us, and I hope you guys, I'll follow up on you guys and see oh. how the black holes is shaping up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much <laughs> Thank for sharing. You. Again, this is Joe Mauritius. Mm -hmm. Mabuhay. <laughs>